Top of the howdy, this is Sean Fairburn with Myo 3D. Myo 3D is a more advanced way to shoot 3D. It captures multiple interoculars at the same time. A small interocular, a medium interocular, and a wide interocular using an A camera, B camera, and a C camera. The distance between the B and the C is small. The distance between the A and the B is medium. The distance between the A and the C is wide. We're shooting all three or more at the same time. To shoot multiple interocular 3D, using a slate to mark a moment in time for all three cameras is very important. Don't rely on time code or gen lock to always be correct. DSC Labs makes a calibration and alignment chart to aid in aligning 3D using vertical, horizontal, scale, rotation, and color. BC is a tight interocular. Look how far the background feels in relationship to the kids playing on the trampoline. Look at the scale of the kids. AB is a medium interocular. The background now feels more distant. Look at the relationship between the tree to the left, the kids, and the distance to the background. AC is a wide interocular. It sets the background much farther back, but it also miniaturizes the kids in the foreground. The camera is at the same focal length. I just moved closer to the trampoline. First, you're going to see a BC. This is the tight interocular. This is mild 3D. Look at the distance between the kids and the background. AB is a medium interocular with medium strength 3D. Look at the distance between the kids and the background. AC is a wide interocular. This is the strongest 3D and we've increased the sense of depth. By shooting all three at the same time, you get to choose which one works best for you and your screen size and your subject matter. Take a look at this front porch. This is a BC, a tight interocular, mild 3D. The convergence is on the second post. The edge of the porch is in negative Z and the rest of the porch is in positive Z. AB is a medium interocular with medium strength 3D. Look how much more depth the porch has and the distance to the background. It feels farther away. AC is a wide interocular. This is the strongest 3D. Look how much more the appearance of depth on the porch is and how much farther the background looks. And look at the scale of the rocker. It appears to be smaller. Keeping the same distance, I zoomed in the cameras. So this is a more compressed shot with a small interocular with weak 3D. Look at the apparent distance between the tricycle, the bush, and the background. AB is medium interocular and medium 3D, and we've amplified the background on this long lens shot. Look at the appearance of distance between the tricycle, the bush, and the background. AC is a wide interocular and strong 3D, and when you add that with the compression of a long lens shot, you have an even greater appearance of distance between the foreground, middle ground, and background. By shooting all three, you have choices now. This is also a long lens shot. BC is a tight interocular, or weak 3D. Look at the appearance of distance between the Spanish moss and the trees in the background. AB is a medium interocular with medium strength 3D. Look at the appearance of distance between the Spanish moss and the trees in the background here. This is AC, a wide interocular and very strong 3D. Amplified with the zoom of the long lens, it really separates the foreground and background. The biggest advantage of multiple interocular 3D is having options in post that you never had before. By shooting all three interoculars at the same time, you get to choose which one works best for you, your screen size, and your subject matter.
This is Sean Fairburn, the founder and CEO of Myo3D. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you now have a better understanding of the advantages of shooting multiple interocular 3D. Thanks.